I was gonna say hello for my camera. Oh. Don't what? Hello, hello, hello. Excuse my charisma. Back with a spritzer. Good morning, guys. Last night I was in the hotel. The man whose birthday party I went to the day before. He uh, invited me to teach uh, English to his students. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> Sorry? Do you guess please Vietnamese? Oh no, a little bit, like gum on. <laughs> what did you find? <laughs> you travel because that's a hobby. Where, where right? Sorry? You travel everywhere because that's a hobby. <laughs> I went and hung out with the kids and it was a really great time. There were lovely kids. It was a class of about 16 year olds. It was really nice. It was quite interesting. One of the girls said that uh, I was the fifth Westerner that she'd ever seen in her life. It's just mind blowing. That's one every four years. Crazy. While I was waiting to get picked up to go and teach the students, there was a car crash like just 30 meters up the street from me and this is what it looked like. So yeah, pretty brutal as you could see there. Just a reminder that the roads are pretty dangerous here. Today, heading to Hanoi on the way to Ho Chi Minh. But it's a beautiful day, so let's go. Damn, thought I was someone, thought I was something. It's always hard to understand when every feeling leaves with no reason. Can't even balance no more Cause I put all my weight on you But you're gone Don't care how much I try You're gone And I'm not too surprised You're gone When your heart's on your mind I poured the concrete, you laid the ceiling And it hurts to tear it down But our home is empty And all of the memories I keep trying to erase But I spent all my change on you But you're gone Hey guys, made it to Hanoi. Uh, took me about three hours, so I'm really not sure where Google Maps took me on the way to Sapa, but it definitely wasn't this route. If you remember a few vlogs ago, it took me to a place where the police ended up banging on my door at four in the morning, which was pretty scary. Anyway, so I was driving along this road going about 80 kilometers an hour, and this dog runs out on the road, and I had two options. I could either accelerate or brake. I chose to accelerate. I missed it by about one centimeter. It was so close. I don't know what would have happened if I had hit that dog. Um, and then I saw something that really kind of shocked me. I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but you might want to skip this part if you're sensitive to gruesome things. I saw a man chasing a dog with a blunt object in his hand and proceeded to... Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to go into detail, but it was 
Like I've mentioned in a past video, I don't have a problem. If they choose to eat dog, that's okay. We choose to eat other animals, you know, suffering is suffering. But if you're going to kill an animal, I think it should be done with the least amount of pain possible for the animal. And this just definitely wasn't that. Moving on. I was riding down this motorway following Google Maps and got to this part where there was this big fence that said no motorbikes, no cars. I was like, what am I gonna do, you know, because I've gotta go this way, this way Google Maps is telling me. I looked to the side and there's this little dirt path going around, you would have just seen in the edit, and I went around this little wall and just carried on. Ended up just being a big abandoned motorway with no cars but just a few motorbikes, so that was a good way to save time. This evening I'm meeting up with a friend that I met uh, last time I was here in Hanoi. Uh, I'm not gonna vlog it, I don't feel the need to vlog everything, but I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you, see you later. I'm